Welcome to Lesson 6.3. In the textbook, they break off solving equations with fractions, uh, again, separately. I don't know why, but since it does, we're going to do it anyway. We've already begun this topic, so this is kind of a review with a few minor additions. So how would you solve an equation that involves a fraction? Well, we've already done this by using reverse order of operations, and that would, that's what this, this particular lesson is all about. So I've got x over 3 is equal to 4. So our first step is to realize what are we doing to our variable here. Well, x over 3 means x divided by 3. That's what it means. It's a fraction. Right? Fractions are all divide signs, or all, are all divide questions. So if I'm dividing by 3, the opposite of dividing by 3 is to multiply by 3. So taking a look at this, then I've got x over 3 and I multiply it by 3. Remember, the 3 is in the, in the numerator. It's at the top. This is 3. Now these cancel. That gives us 1x is equal to 12 and x is equal to 12. Very simple. Same thing as we've been doing. Again, this is a review of what we've just previously done. x over 3, take away 5, is equal to 2. First thing we need to do is get rid of the added or subtracted component. And you can see here, the first thing we're doing is subtracting 5. So to undo, subtract 5, I've got to put a positive 5 with it. So here is x over 3 with my 5 negative tiles. I'm going to put my 5 positive tiles with it. Whatever I do to the one side, I must do to the other. Now this here, that's your 0 principle. So x over 3 minus 0 is equal to 7. So now I've got x over 3 is equal to 7. Take a look at the x. I'm dividing by 3, so the opposite is to multiply by 3. So x over 3 multiplied by 3 is 7 multiplied by 3. This cancels. That gives you 1x. And 7 times 3 is 21, so x is equal to 21. There you go. So the marking this equation, you always put down the, the starting equation when you begin, and then add 5 to both sides, clean it up. Then you're going to take and multiply by 3, the, one state, the grouping statements, and then you clean it up. So this would be worth 6 marks. All right. 3 plus x over 4 is equal to 21. A little bit of a different look because the fraction is in the second one, not the first one. But it still works out the same way. I've got to get rid of this. I've got to get rid of that. Now, in order to get rid of this, sorry, my goal is to get that by itself x over 4. Now to get this by itself, whatever's with it, I've got to get rid of. So that's a positive 3. So if I've got a positive 3 or 3 positive tiles, I've got to take and subtract 3. Okay? By subtracting 3 from both sides, that will get rid of my, my loose 3 tiles here, and then I'll be able to continue with the x over 4. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Now, 3 take away 3 is 0, or you can think of it as 3 positive tiles and 3 negative tiles become 0, plus x over 4 is equal to 21 take away 3, which is 18. So x over 4 is equal to 18. So, the next step, I'm going to take and I'm dividing by 4 here, so with an undo divide by 4, I'm going to multiply by 4. So x over 4 times 4 is equal to 18 times 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 18 times 4 is 72. So x is equal to 72. So let's verify this. I said x was 72. So let's take out the x, put the 72 in its place. And of course, 72 divided by 4 is 18. So 21 is equal to 21. That means we did do it correctly. All right, try this one by yourself. All right, the first thing I need to do is to get rid of the loose tiles. The 21's got to go first. This is a positive 21, so I've got to take away 21 to get rid of it. So 6 take away 21 is equal to 21 take away 21, and I keep my x over 3. 6 take away 21 is negative 15. 21 take away 21 is 0, plus my x over 3, that leaves me with x over 3 is equal to negative 15. 
So the next thing I need to do is since I'm dividing by 3 here, I have to multiply by 3. So negative 15 times 3 and x over 3 times 3. Do it to both sides. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 times 3 is 45. And a positive 3 times a negative 15 is a negative 45. So x is equal to negative 45. Okay? Now, tricky ones. Whenever they throw negatives in here, it's kind of tricky. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a sidebar here. Um, a couple of lessons, quite a few lessons ago, we started talking about uh, decimals. And this is what I did. I had a negative 1 over 4. I had a negative out front, which is 1 over 4. And I had 1 over negative 4. Now, you'll notice the fraction is the same, isn't it? It hasn't changed. It's still 1 quarter. The only thing which is different is where I've actually placed the negative sign. Here, the negative sign's up top. Here, it's out front. And here, it's on the bottom. Now, to do this, it's really straightforward. I want you to get your calculator out. I want you just to go negative 1 divided by 4. And then I want you to take negative, keep it, and go 1 divided by 4 and put your answer there. And here, I want you to go 1 divided by negative 4. If you do that, you're going to find that this one is negative 0 0.25. This is negative 0 0.25. And this is negative 0 0.25. So the question remains, why bring this up? Well, if you take a look over here on our original equation, I have a negative out front. In order to make us able to solve this as easily as possible, put the negative with the number. And you'll see that having the negative out front with our 1 quarter, see this? Here it's out quarter, the negative 1 quarter. If I just slide this one and put it with the 4 like this one, do the answers change? The answer to that is no. So I can put that negative anywhere I want. I could leave it out front. I could put it with the x. Or I could put it with the, the 2 on the bottom. Which of these three is the best and easy to work with? This one gives you the least amount of work. All right. So let's solve this. So I'm just going to take it and uh, get rid of the 14 first. But I'm going to put the negative down here. So this is going to look like this. Okay. Put the negative 2 down below. So the negative is gone. There's a positive in its place. Okay, this is still a negative number. I can't have a subtract x over negative 2 because then these two negatives would become a positive. And of course, my final answer has got to be negative, doesn't it? So I can't put a negative here. I've got to make sure that I put a positive there. Now, this is tricky, and I know that you're going to have some difficulty with it. But if you bear with me, it actually is quite simple. Just take the negative, put it on to the number. All right. So now let's take a look at the 14. I'm adding 14, or I have a positive 14. Negative 14, we'll get rid of it. So 12 take away 14 is equal to 14 take away 14. I still have my x over negative 2. 12 take away, sorry, take away 14 is negative 2. And that becomes 0 plus x over negative 2. So now I've got negative 2 is equal to x over negative 2. So here, I'm dividing by negative 2. The opposite is to multiply by negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to x over negative 2 times negative 2. Now these cancel, leaving me with 1x. And negative times a negative is a positive. So 2 times 2 is 4. So x is equal to 4. Okay, go over this one again and again and again until you think you've got it straight. All right, here we go. You try this one. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, a little bit of changing here. I'm going to put that negative down with that negative 4. Now I'm going to solve it. Got to get rid of the 5. This is a plus 5, so I'm going to put 5, take away 5. Whatever I do to one side, I've got to do to the other. This becomes a 0, and that's negative 3. So x over negative 4 is now equal to negative 3. So now I'm dividing by negative 4 here. The opposite is to multiply by, four, by negative 4. So x over negative 4 times negative 4. Negative 3 times negative 4. These cancel. Give me 1x. 3 times 4 is 12. Negative times negative is a positive. 
Now I know I'm going through this fairly quickly, however, I expect you to know your multiplication tables. So you should be able to do it almost as fast as I can. All right, now let's verify to see if we got this correct. We said that x was 12. So 5 take away 12 over 4 should equal 2. Order of operation states we have to do our division first. So 12 divided by 4 is a 3. And 5 take away 3 is 2. So we know, in fact, that we did do it correctly. All right, so now it's time for your assignment. So if you have any trouble, go over it. If you're still having trouble, you come and talk to me. Okay, thank you very much. We'll see you next class.